Hello guys, for a few days I were trying different equipments and pets to find out which of them are the best for Hydra Clash. I also analyzed all my runs to see what skills work perfectly against mini Hydras and which of them are useless. In this video, you'll see top equipments and pets which will help you to do higher damage with a full explanation why to choose them and explain you why some players do billions damage when others only millions. And watch this video till the end, because at the end I'll show you how to lower your health properly and we'll explain how it will help you. Poseidon 1 will give you higher attack as any relic equipment, but unfortunately its spare skill doesn't work against hard dice, so you must have it at least legendary. For those who don't have it yet, use Brave Wand, because it gives plus 50% damage to attacking monsters, and all of them are attacking. But which of them is better if you have them both a legendary or honor? If you'll count total attack that Brave Wand and Poseidon 1 give, you'll get plus 75% attack for Brave Wand and only 35% for Poseidon Wand. But use Poseidon Wand, when it's legendary, its wave can freeze monsters and frozen enemies won't attack you. As a result, you can survive more rounds. Useless Demeterian finally became useful. It adds up to 10 balls during a battle. Why do you need more balls? I think you know the answer. Plus, it gives higher attack. But maybe we have better ring? I tried Weakness Ring because it gives plus 20% damage to freezing and burning enemies. As the fire works perfectly against Hydra. But the result was awful. I was doing less damage. So use Demeterian even if you don't have it yet. Hades Braces take one life from every Hydras, restore 1% health when an enemy dies, and gives plus 35% attack when another only plus 25%. You won't find better Braces. The best first 3 equipments were Relics, but the best crown is Avenge Crown. It will give you plus 15% attack when receiving damage and you'll have 20% chance to heal yourself when receiving damage. Second skill is very useful here and it will let you survive longer. We have two good ropes, Hypnotic and Athena, but Hypnotic rope only works on mini Hydra. I'm talking about range monster preparation round plus one. Rest skill doesn't work here, because if it worked, they would do a 10% damage lower. For those who hasn't noticed yet, a mini Hydra does 2% damage of your health, Hydra's head 5% damage, and Hydra itself shoots 3 orbs that takes 10% and 2 times 5% health of your maximum health. I recommend Athena rope, besides it gives a shield of 5% of your maximum health, all healing effects plus 20%. You could notice that I insist on healing. Guys, it doesn't matter if you have 200,000 health or 100,000 health, and mistake percentage of your health, which I already mentioned. More rounds you'll stand, more damage you'll do. And the last equipment boots. I tested Hermes boots to see if Dutch skill works, and unfortunately it doesn't. I even spent 20,000 clan coins to make them legendary. It was probably the stupidest thing I've ever done. So use duplicate boots and you'll get a 30% chance to get an extra when getting special balls. First pet that will help you is Butterfly, it will revive you. Next pet is Thunderwolf. Do you remember what I said about healing? This pet will recover 10% of your health when it collects 15 souls, plus it gives a lightning ball. And the last pet is Hydra, but I know that only a few have this pet. So if you don't have it, use a Neon or Turtle or Sea Dragon or Thunder Dragon. All of them are good and will help you. If you're thinking about Octopus or Puffer, forget about them, because their skill don't work. There are 4 kinds of skills which will help you to kill mini Hydras, Fire, Laser, Lightning and Missile. Choose master skills for them, it will help you to take them down much faster. The best skill against minis is Fire Master with Fireballs. Just look how many mini Hydras died in your Hydra boss when I got Fire Master skill. Next go Lightning and Missile skills. Lightning and Missile balls will kill more minis than Laser. That's why they are in second place and the last what you should choose are Laser skills. So if you have a choice, now you know what to choose. Guys, you probably saw how some players do billions damage, but how? My friend from Discord used the same equipments and almost the same pets, but I used Neon and he used Hydra to do high damage. And his best almost 14 billions when mine almost 2. He did so high damage because as you could see he has higher attack and almost all his equipments are eternal, which gives him more skills, plus he has almost all talents. By the way guys, on Discord you can find many useful information and chat with skilled players that will help you 24 and 7. You could also notice that his and my health isn't maximum, we lowered it, but why? How does it help if enemies take percentage of your maximum health? Here goes an interesting thing. In turns we have very useful talents for Hydra's Clash, Bandage and Recovery talents. They heal a certain amount of points of your health, not percentage. Higher your talents cap, more health points you recover. On these screenshots, you can see that I recovered 4010 points when I had 200,000 health, and when I lowered it to 160,000, I got the same amount of health recovered. I get this recovery when learning skills, you can count for my talent cap, Bandage and Recovery talents, and you'll get the same amount which recovers me. 
but when you'll be lower in your health, don't make it too low. Here you can see what can happen if you do it. You'll be getting more than 5 and 10% damage of your health from Hydra. But how to find the lowest health for yourself? I have the answer. Your lowest health depends on stage you're at. That's one more reason why players who pass too many stages as I do lower damage to Hydra and those who are stage 50 can do billions damage because they can survive longer. Hydra normally do 10% and 2 times 5% damage of your maximum health. For example, my health is 208,000, 10% is 20 and 8, and 5% is 10 and 4. Now you can see that I lowered my health too much, almost 58,000 health, and I received 13 and half damage, which obviously isn't 10% of my health. But let's look at my another game. My health now 120,000, seems to be okay. But again, I receive 13 and half damage. It is still too low. But if you could notice, damage in both cases were the same, 13 and half. Let's calculate. We take the damage 13 and half, multiply by 10, and we'll get our lowest health. In my case, it is 135,000. So let's check it. If I get 10% damage from Hydra. And as you can see, taking damage is 10% of my health. Ok guys, all these tricks must help you to do higher damage. In comments write down your best damage with the new setup.